About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. Yeah? We will see. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right. Listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. <laughs> it's so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping? How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say, no questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. You go on now. I know how to handle myself on ice ball planets. Trust me. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving.
running. Get to the ship. Take cover now! why this was locked. Here we are, the place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy and eventually the Crimson Fleet, the lock. Yeah, he needs to get this thing open like right now. It's freezing out here. Then crank up your suit heat, Mathis, because it's probably not going to get much better once we are inside. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. <laughs> we are in. Let's go. First time I have been inside this part of the lock, so keep your eyes open. See anything unusual? Call it out. If it's hostile, take it down. Couldn't be simpler. How many people did the UC stick down here, Dal? A couple of hundred at least. Might not look like much, but it was better than trying to survive on the surface. Well, not much better. Even with the heating on, this place looks like a goddamn dump. Now you know why the prisoners got fed up and looked to Cricks to lead them out of here. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story, Mathis. It's history. Remember that. Now, 
Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Sure. Must have been awful. Better them than us, though, am I right? Wait, shut up a second! Did you hear that? Wait, what was that? Who are these things? Take them all down! I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already! I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area. But everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open?
This is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? Whew. Yeah. You're right. Now that I think about it, this gives me an idea. A, a way we could turn this situation to our advantage. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. I had a feeling you'd be on board. Okay, here's my plan. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct, and there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You know, for a second there, I was almost starting to respect you. Now, let's find a way out of here. No way you need all that junk! I guess that's one way through. Okay, Souch. What the hell was so important that you had to drag me all the way out of A Block at this hour? You know Jasper Crick's over in D Block? He's busting out of here, and he wants me to join him. Crick really thinks he can bust out of the lock? Why the hell am I just hearing about it now? Crick only are told us few people he trusts. He told us to keep it to ourselves. We all cut our throats. Then why the hell are you telling me? Come on, I gotta explain this. It's because I like you, Rickard. I want you to come with me. Hello. We've been meeting in this storeroom for, for months. Yeah. Open. Well, you know, I was hoping we had something a little more than that. I Anyone's swear, real? I've, I've never been. put my shit in I uh, didn't know you cared that much. <laughs> you give me the signal and I'll... Oh, to Wait, I forgot to turn off the recording. Can. Recording? What the hell, Rickard? We never meet down here this there? late. I'm... So the two of you made it, huh? Well, brush the dust off and listen up. We have obviously been cut off, so I need you to do two things. First, I want you to keep looking for a way to open the rest of the doors down here. Otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. And second, try and dig up whatever you can about Jasper Griggs. You both got that? Yeah? You'd better. And tell Mathis not to get any bright ideas, or I will gut him myself. And here I thought we were going to be doing something fun, like rob a bank or something.
believe this is where the fleet started. It's history, man. Looks like there's a guard tower overlooking the cell block. We should check it out. So, have you changed your mind yet? Yeah, right. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. 
We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? Of all the people to get trapped here with, why the hell did I get stuck with you, huh? Fine, have it your way. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Been in a few slams yourself, I see. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Cell D03118. Okay. It's a place to start, I guess.
us down. If we get out of here, remind me to thank Delgado for hanging us out to dry.
What the hell are you planning to do with all that stuff?
those things are crawling right behind the walls. Ugh. After action report, Guard Bryant reporting. We got a tip from an inmate about some equipment being stolen from one of the supply rooms. We did a thorough sweep of the place and came up with two mining lasers and several power packs missing. After the alarm was raised, all of the inmate cells were searched, but we turned up empty-handed. I have no idea how the inmates were able to get into that storage room and hide that gear without being picked up on camera starting to suspect that the inmates could be receiving help from some of the staff of this facility. down you hear that
Is this an armory? It looks like they cleared this place out. Well, well, what do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. They sort of come in handy. years old, eh? It's amazing this entire place hasn't collapsed by now. I must be hearing things. Get out of here. Remind me to thank Elgado for hanging us out to dry. Than the inmates. 
Normally, I wouldn't give a damn about them, but this is downright insane. I'm starting to get nervous that we're going to have a riot on our hands if conditions don't improve. How can these things live in this kind of cold? It's time to put some things down. Looks like this was the warden's office. They built the office right next to the shuttle bay for quick escapes, I bet. <laughs> Smart. Gekar, I hope you found something because I am getting sick and tired of this place. I knew it! Everyone said I was out of my mind! But something told me we'd find the answers down here. Looks like I picked the right people for the job. Yup, that's right. It was a team effort all the way. We had each other's backs the whole time, Del. Is that Mathis? Tell him to shut up so I can think. Uh, yeah, sorry, Del. You go right ahead. Okay. Now, all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, the 
me see. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock, and I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. Don't worry about your ship. I will send some people down to get it. You just get your ass on that shuttle and get out of here. Yeah, sure, and I wish gold coins would start raining from the sky. Now, if wishing time is over, maybe you'd be kind enough to stop running your mouth and listen for a change. Okay, let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the icing process. Please stand by. Yup, that's got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. Hey, um, look, I, um... Well, I wanted to thank you for not being a jerk and hounding all the glory on this run. Cool. Cool. Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I promise that you won't regret it. Now, let's get the heck out of here. Warden Tom Gillespie. Authorization 12210. This is likely to be my final log recording. The riots that started in D block have spilled into A, B, and C blocks. I've ordered everyone to fall back to the shuttle bay for evacuation. It was prisoner D03118, Jasper Cricks, who led the revolt. His crew tunneled into the armory undetected. And then all hell broke loose. If the lock is recovered, I urge the UC authorities to perform a full investigation. As Cricks undoubtedly had help from the guards and the staff. I'm now heading to my personal escape shuttle and... We'll try to jump out of the system. Wish me luck. Warden Gillespie, out.
look. Smuggling beats a real job any day. Hello, everyone. I'm Gail Dunnigan of SSNN, and this is the last. My guest tonight is one of the most notorious criminals in the settled systems. His ruthlessness and desire for wealth has landed him squarely at the top of the wanted list for every major law enforcement agency in the galaxy. I am, of course, speaking of the self-appointed leader of the Crimson Fleet himself, Jasper Crix. Good evening, Mr. Crix. Good evening, Gail. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Yes, well, being blindfolded and then Graf jumped to what appears to be an abandoned mining facility isn't exactly what I call an invitation. I know. There you are. The hell took you so long? It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. That's it? Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay, this changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. And the recording that you found proves that it is out there. All we have to do is find it. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay, Dios mío. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard, which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship. Make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to let him join the fleet. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook. Before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. Official security on the key. 
But we are always looking out for traitors. I heard Isla's sister is some hardcore mercenary. I wouldn't get on her bad side. Yeah? Hey, um, I wanted to thank you one last time for not ratting me out to Delgado. And telling him how much I pitched in, that was pretty damn cool. If he would have found out what I was planning, well, I don't even want to think about what could have happened. Oh yeah, sure, anything you need, you just ask. And I'll be there to back you up. Can't wait. Bye now, Mathis. I hope we're never in such dire straits that we need to depend on that guy. <clears throat> Stay safe! You just, uh, you know, uh, take care of yourself out there. I hope Bug has something strong enough to knock me out. Don't challenge Bug to five finger fillet. Maybe. We haven't if decided. I had a billion credits, there you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole Rokoff on the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Rokoff's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the siren, swiping those gal bait credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. To blow your heads off and serve the guts as sushi. Now, I can buy a drink or get the hell. From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. If I get Jazz to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. And I'd prefer to have the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? Don't worry, I took notes. Sorry. <clears throat> I meant that seriously. I did. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now. Get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. We'll talk later. The last effing Nova. Welcome to the heart of the If 
They don't have a gift shop that sells key rings. They're missing a golden opportunity. like we got ourselves a new rook. Once again, I'm Jazz, resident engineer here. Like Neva said, you need ship parts, repairs? I'll hook you up, as long as your credits are good. It may not be wider, but it's not on the books if that's what you're getting at. I can guarantee your ship will be in good hands. So if you're looking for an upgrade, let me know. We got the best selection in the settled systems. Illegal, unregistered, recalled. We sell it all. No questions asked. Anything that keeps the UC and Free Star Rangers off your tail is a must-have in my book. Just let me know when you want to talk business. No, but just remember, I don't work for free. All right, let's see what you need.
I miss the sun on Jemison. Once I get time off, that's the first place. <laughs> Heard Archangel flew in some top secret program not to Yo, back. So how did it go? Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? Oh yeah, it's totally Crix's legacy. It's at the end of a giant rainbow stretching through space. And you have to get it from three witches. I understand your sarcasm. But you can't deny that this data involves both Crix and legacy. In my mind, it bears further investigation. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, we can solve that little mystery in about 10 seconds. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Galbank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Cricks was clever. For some reason, he never got there. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. Anything I can help you with, Captain?